Joo. Vähän pitoa pois, niin rupee linjaakin menee paremmin. Se ei ole lähellekään niin hyökkäävä. Ai, ei... hyvä puuro apua. Oli hyvä puuro tammarissa. Vähän jännä oli, kun aamulla oli eka, eka treeni ja mä siinä ihan samalla lailla pihalle kuin eilen kisaveros. Ei ollut kovin luottavainen fiilis, mutta nostettiin vähän painetta. Nyt se on paljon meittavampi. Nyt pystyy keskittyä enemmän ehkä siihen teajoon. Että täytyy hyvä vähän uhraa pitoa ja koittaa vaan tällä näin. Katsotaan mitä tulee. Ei maha mitään. Pakko se on, että nyt päästään ratakunnan. Oh, liian hyvä renkaita. <laughs> the Finnish driver, Juha Rittinen. It's so fast. So He's fast. So fast. Oh, so fast. The fastest man on earth. <laughs> I watch Juha Rittinen's practice sometimes, and it's like, you know those, those cartoons where it. someone goes by and someone's hat flies off? Yep, that's, that's how it looks. Yep. He's that committed. What I love about it, he's a very reserved character himself. With the wildest man on track. So let's see how you were into it. Gets on. He did make the top 32 yesterday at round three. Can he do it again? Wow, really nice. Wide onto that first corner. Really likes to go wide there. But a lot of left foot braking and whatever. Would that be a good decision? Big angle as well, probably. Letting the car's power get him out of trouble a little bit there. And all the style in the world. But just here, couldn't get as wide as he wanted to. But loads of pops and bangs and smoke wow. and angle. It's all about impact. It's all about looking as good as you can do on that circuit. And the judges have to. I mean, from style perspective, that's definitely the most stylish run we've seen so far. Yeah, that was a lovely run from Juha Ridden, and look at this, nice initiation, goes for it, goes very, very wide, look at that, right to the edge of the circuit, keeps that wheel on the track and inside that line, and then keeps two wheels in outside zone one, stays in it the whole way, transitions, probably just a little bit too early, but that snap to angle, again, what judges were looking for in the, the briefing, down but I mean, what he, what he lacks in, in, in maybe perfect line there, he, he makes up for an absolute foot style. to the floor. Just, yeah. I'm going to hammer the car until it does what I want it to do. And it's like he has no fear behind the wheel. Look at the smoke. The, the, the way he just touches the throttle and the thing just absolutely lights the tyres up. And you are written. And again, look at this. Another driver very early to outside zone six on the wall. Look at that. Just grazing the oh, rear bumper along that's, the that's wall. That's tasty. That's, that's a tasty one. You like that, Dave? Yeah, that's you're, beautiful. You're into that now. I think that is as perfect a wall run as you can do. You think? Well, he just took the rubber off his rear bumper. Wow, there you go, an 86. 86. Well deserved, I think. There we go, some redemption. You are written in now. An 86. He is safe. All he can do now is try a top qualifying. Well, he, he literally rounds out 10th place in qualifying at the moment with an 86. So that just goes to show you where we're at, the scores. Nice position to be in, you know, I mean, he's an 86, he can afford to risk it here, he's nothing to lose, no. he's definitely into the battles, I mean, obviously he lose the car, he crashed the car, but uh, I think he's going to go for this, I think he's going to go for a very fast initiation, which he does, a little slight on the angle, but really nice once he gets on it, starts pouring on the smoke and the power. A little lack of commitment there, came off the throttle a little bit, it messed him up, but he got wow. back online fairly quick, and this is a late transition. Out to that so it's such an aggressive driver to watch, I mean, he's almost frightening at times, and... You know, I like the fact that I'm not sure if he's going to make a corner every time. Oh. Rob at the wall, just scratching the tail light. Yeah, a lot of commitment. Yeah, you very are similar, written Very similar to the first one. Smoke will be a problem. Yeah, a lot Following. of will get lost in the smoke. He, we should just call him the magician because he makes everything disappear. 83, ninth position. Yep. So the two scores bump him up just one place. <laughs> Samanlainen oli kuin se ekakin vero. Tuli sentään kaksi samanlaista vetoa suurin piirtein. Niin, nyt on jonkunlainen luotto siihen. Kyllä sillä kisoissa pystyy ajaa ihan hyvin, ei siitä nyt jää kiinni enää. Tulee pari jo treenit vielä, niin sitten näkee, että kuinka tällä pidolla pysyy perässä. Et jos pysyy suht hyvin, niin nyt mennään sillä. Mutta joitain vastaan voi sitten joutua laittaa vähän lisää vitoa.
olla kuski ja sitten. Ollaan vaan. Ehkä. Mäkin. Hä? Mäkin. Joo. Satsi of our top 32, and once again the final battle includes Steve Bagsy Biagioni, but this time it's not a Polishman, it's a Finnish driver, and it is of course Juha Ritten. 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 And the thing about Juha Ritten for me is that these guys have been fighting each other for about 10 years of drifting. These guys have been all over Europe. I mean, yes. They've battled a lot, and I would say it swings both ways when it comes I to mean, who's the better driver. It's very the, even. The heat indicators were like yeah. nigh on the same. It's both not a lot, lot of pace, both very good machines, both a lot of experience, and two great professionals, two great ambassadors. And so Bags, he's got this jumping ahead here. He knows Ritten is fast, and he's got to stay with him here. Yeah, he certainly has. He knows the pace and he knows the power. And Ritten's got almost contact. Bagsy goes aggressive. Ritten goes to the inside edge of the circuit. Bagsy drops down, almost goes on the inside. Bagsy's starting to make a few mistakes now. Oh, well. But Bagsy gets absolutely left in a cloud of smoke. Big mistakes from Bagsy's chase right now as Juha Ritten sticks it to the wall. Bagsy goes for a big dive again. No contact this time. As Juha Ritten hammers down and tries to drive away from Bagsy. You know what happened? I think Bagsy's going to be kicking himself here because he knows he's made that error on yeah. the initiation. Now he's got to hope Rinton makes a mistake. Rinton doesn't really have to do anything here, just stay within you know, a certain level of proximity. Bagsy's got to go out there and put on the run of his life. Yeah, Bagsy needs to stick it out and needs to put down an absolute blinder of a lead run. Juha Rinton can, you know, take a leaf out of Peter Vincek and Jack Shanahan's book and, you know, take it easy maybe, you know, put in an easier, safe chase run. But... <laughs> Has Ritten got, a, got that one in the bag? Does he, does he know to, to rein back 20%? Oh, we got a full start. We got a full start, yeah. Oh, no. We haven't got a full start. Lewis, oh, it looks to me like Bagsy's broken something. Bagsy's in the car. got a problem. And he's waved to Rinton to go by him to say, go down, get your result. I'm broken. And is that, is that an issue with, with Bagsy's car? It looks like an issue with Bagsy's car. Rintman's looking in the mirror like, what is going on? Again, top 32 doesn't uh, fail to disappoint. Yeah, I'm trying to read the, the body language. Rintman is like, what happened to you? And I think he's saying that he has no power in the car. You see Bagsy saying the car is on, but it's not doing anything. And of course, three long days and a, and a big impact yesterday. Anything could have happened. It could have shook something loose. You know, yep. you never know. Yeah, exactly that. Who knows? But it's going to be a very obvious last decision in the top 32 for our judges. As Juha Rintanen moves on to the top 16. And we promised you lots of action, lots of mechanical failures, and lots of upsets. And we gave you all three. Because the top 32 does not disappoint here once again. Rintanen, not the way he wanted it, but he'll take it. And uh, at this point in time, he's... Uh, yeah, this is one of those things where you don't want to win this way, Becky. But he'll take it. He'll move forward to the top 16 and see how Juha Rintanen it is. You are not how you would have wanted the battle to go, right? No, no, not at all. I wanted to drive, follow hard with Baxi. I'm sure it would, it would have been a fun event. How have you been finding your weekend so far? It's great to see you going into top 16. Yeah, a bit tricky. Uh, yesterday we had some, uh, not snow, but <laughs> wet, wet conditions and then dry and it was a bit tricky, but today has been a lot better, better day for me. Isn't it crazy how the weather can make or break your weekend here? In the wet, what was it like for you? Uh, it was okay. Yeah, I got to drive on the wet some bit, and it, it was constantly getting better. So, and I was, I thought it was be, it was going to be a wet today all all day, but thank God it wasn't. Delighted. Well, congratulations. We'll see you in top 16. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you, Becky. Back to you guys. Thanks, Becky. Just a nice guy you have, Renton. Right too just, polite. It's just a Far too polite. But he's a lunatic in the car. <laughs> I mean, this is, uh, it always is bizarre to me, the personality change between the driver and the car. Anyway.
Sillä meni kaasuvajeri poikki. Mikä? <laughs> kaasuvajeri. Mut joo, ihan hyvä liit. Tai ihan ok liit. Kyllä. Kyllä. Niin Sulla on pikku puskurikin. Ai joo. No se ei siinä lopussa taisi osua siihen. Joo. Se voisi jos se koittaa löytää. Se on jo täällä. Mä oon Okei. Okay. Joo, harmi ettei päässy ne ajaan perässä. On tullut hyvää reiniä. Tultsia vastaan asti si 16, mutta siinä on hetki aikaa. Kerkee vähän rauhoittuun tässä nyt taas. Lähes siitä lähti. Maltta. Homma toki. to our last battle of the top 16. Yeah, Mikael Norman Toltz pulls up alongside you, Hart Ritten and Ritten in the higher qualifier. Look at the experience way and way in you, Hart Ritten and side of things. Yeah, my mistake, we have to go back we have to one Zachary, more time battle. Zachary yeah. and Chirba, yeah. Have a little look at it there. We're getting to the end of the bracket, but we've got to go back to it one more time. But this is a very Good looking battle. This is a very, very good looking cool, battle. Cool cars. Lots of power, lots of smoke, and lots of experience. Oh, that's you are into no, Mikko, good normal talks. She's taking She's the opportunity to jump the line, yeah. Playing this game now on the way in, but now it hasn't worked for Mikko. Thoughts he's miles behind. Yeah, I wonder what happened there. Looked like it was maybe an issue. Fell way behind. Short cuts the circuit. Ritten gets himself into it. Jumps across the track. Mikko Norman Toltz now struggling to find that proximity, looks for a big dive up onto the door of the S15, that Supra onto the wall, both of them in outside zone 6, and now Mikko Norman Toltz jumps on the door, onto the wall goes Juha written in. And you know what, I remember Becky asking him, you know, rain, sun, he's like, ah, oh, whatever. You know, I'm, Not good, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm good in everything. I'm good in everything. It, 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 that would never come from a Finnish person, that confident no, statement. No. It would always be, no, well, we'll see how it goes. But that would, that's what I, <laughs> I thought he meant. Oh, yeah, that's what he meant. Yeah, but he is focused right now. And of course, Finland, the real, you know, when it comes to motorsport, those guys are unbelievable, very, you know, they're tacticians. And you are written, thumbs up to his opponent. And off the line they go. And you have, just, I don't think he's going to jump here. I think he knows he's got the pace. He's going to stay with him into that first corner. And Tulls going through the gears, and look at this Rintanen right on the back bumper, late initiation from Rintanen, and that's exactly where he needs to be. Yeah, right in the pocket he goes, Rintanen needs to keep this clean though. Mikael Norman Tulls has seen him put down an incredible lead line, Rintanen fires dirt up, gets himself lost in the smoke, now gets himself back into it. Mikael Norman Tulls starts to put some distance between him and Juha Rintanen, sacrifices a little bit of outside zone 6, Juha shallows up the angle to jump back on the door. Ooh, it's a close one. I'm not so sure, I am not so sure. Excellent lead run by Norman Tulls, and I'll be, I'll be honest with you, Rinton makes a mistake, goes up on yeah, the curb. Yes. I don't think either of these guys knows what way this is going to go. No, I think they'll have a look at that, I'm not sure, let's see which way it goes. It's going to be Juha Rinton and going through, and then one more time, so a split decision by the judges, but it is the majority vote for Juha Rinton and Kevin. The split decision between you guys, it was a scrappy one. Yeah, it was a scrappy one, but it really all comes down to the chases there for us here. Uh, you uh, having a very, very good chase overall, but dropping a wheel at outer zone four, a fairly significant mistake. And then you have uh, Mikael then as well. He had a huge upset at the very start, didn't have proximity for the first half of the run, and only after that made a huge dive in then to, to gain that proximity on Yuha at around outer zone five. Uh, for me and David, even with Yuha's mistake, that proximity and aggression that we love to see was enough for him to take it overall, but for Vernon, that mistake was just significant enough to want to see him go one more time. Well, there we go. Next battle coming up. Everyone's saying Peter Vincek's going to be in the fight with Jack Shanahan. He's got to go for a U-Haul Rittenden first. Rittenden has a monster of a car. It's fast, it has an immense amount of power, and it produces tons of smoke. It's been throwing people off track all day, Dave. Can he throw the smoke screen up 
in his lead, but he has to now chase down one of the fastest men on the circuit. Well, if there's one man that can catch Peter Jainsek, it's you, Rinton, and he has one of the fastest cars on the grid. Here we go. This is going to be a very interesting battle. Look at Rinton, and he's not getting left behind here. No, Rinton's not getting left behind. Look at this, onto the back bumper. He goes, dips down the front on the, the foot brake, goes Rinton, and as they go wheel to wheel, Rinton there with him. Rinton's got the pace. Rinton's up on the curb, though. Rinton needs to be careful as he goes deep on that transition and messes himself up. He gets lost. In Vincek's smoke, as Vincek now looks for the wall, Vincek absolutely dialed Rinton back into it though, Rinton looking for the side of Vincek's S15. Well the big thing we asked was, can anyone catch Peter Vincek? The answer is yes, yes. you are Rinton. The thing is, when you catch him, what do you do with him? But well, Rinton a little bit messy and I think that was just a pushing a little too hard. I think he hopped up on the inside curb, he unsettled the car. Watch this, he's on Vincek's rear bumper here, but when he transitions so close, watch the inside wheel up on the curb, on the grass, unsettles the car, loses a bit of traction, goes wider than he wants, oh, he's he lost in the smoke. Him. He almost hits the rear wheel of Peter's car. Well, he can't say he, wasn't big spin. can't say he wasn't trying it. <laughs> 10 out of 10 for effort. 10 Dave. out of 10 for effort. But I think that's going to be a deduction. It's going to be Vianzek getting the advantage. And, oh, I mean, Rinton threw everything at him there. So there we go, one half of the battle done. and. Uh, Written and literally brought the fight, not messing around. He wasn't letting Peter drive away, and uh, a little bit of a fright for the Worthouse team there. Yeah, they're sitting there going, "Well, hold on a minute. Thought we were this the fastest guy, yeah. guys out here." This guy's got the pace. He's got the power. Look at this. Rinton's team down there at the back end of the grid in the hot pits. You can see the rest of the guys down there watching on. And now they swap them around. Vincek has to chase down Rinton. Rinton. Well, well, he can't play it casual here because Rinton's got all the pace. This is what and will saying. he be able to see where he's going? Because nobody has been able to follow Yuha Rinton today. Not at all. That car produces tons of smoke. If Vincent gets locked in the smoke, he could end up in the same situation that Rinton was, find himself offline on the curbs. Here we go through the gears and a little bit of separation. Um, Vincent's team may have told him, just back off, hold out a little bit, let him set up. Look at this, through the smoke comes Vincent. Nice transition from Rinton and Dolls on a lot of angle. They go way up onto the curb. Now they get themselves set up for the outside zone. Rinton and starts to get pushed, starts to get absolute bullied. By Peter Vincek and Rinton feels the pace, feels the pressure from Peter Vincek as Vincek makes a dive up and to the side. Whoa. You know what? I have to give it to Peter Vincek. How did he get away when Rinton went up on the curb? How did he get away with that? I, he I, was so close and he had no idea where the smoke, where the edge of the track was. I think there's a small bit of luck just there, just there, that he stayed with him. And once he did, he knew it was a mistake from Rinton and he went for it. He went for the kill from that point on. Rinton, an excellent lead line. Look how low those tire pressures are on that car. As he comes out here, this look, Rinton washes. He misses the inside zone. Goes out in the car of Vyacek. Absolutely on full angle there, trying to avoid him. And he still says, look at look at Vyacek. He's like, uh-oh, we're in trouble here. And then stays with him, stays in it. Another driver would have backed off at that point. But Yuha Rinton does miss, miss a lot of those outer zones. And missing those zones, Vyacek didn't miss those zones. No. So if you look at lead to lead, then Peter Vyacek is stronger. And I think if you look at chase to chase, he's stronger too. And, and and look, the biggest thing that you can take away from that, Dave, is it was two wheels off track for Yuha Rinton. Yeah. It, it, from where I'm sitting, I've got a pretty good view. We have the same view you guys have at home, and that's a great view. Yeah. And right now, I think Yuha Rinton says, well, look, we both survived, and, and it was touch and go. But I think it's going to be Peter Vyacek moving through to the top four. Remember, if he gets one step closer here, and he is one step closer to the championship, he has to win the event today in order to wrap up the championship. So that not only is the round on the line, but the championship is now on the line, and he is one step closer. But he's got to go through Jack Shanahan <laughs> to get to that final, and then he's either going to face Dean or Cherba in the final. It ain't over till it's over. It certainly isn't, Dave. I don't know if I could take much more of this. I'm, I'm pretty emotionally drained. Crazy drama on track. We got to go down to Yuha Rinton. What a heroic performance by him, Becky. You are, you just said to me, that was crazy. Yeah, that was. Tell us about it from your point of view. Well, I knew he was fast, so we just put more and more grip in the car. Not, not too much, but I managed to stay with him. I just made a few mistakes on the, on the same place in both runs, so Peter was better. What is it like as a driver when you see him start to pull away? Are you just think, what do I throw at this? Just press the gas. It's, <laughs> you can't do anything else. Well, congratulations. Well, sorry, not congratulations. Commiserations, yeah. Yuha. And we'll see you again next time. Thank you.
You know, I'm going to say congratulations. I'm going to say congratulations. First man to stay with Peter Vjernsek. <laughs> through, through the, and you know what? You can see the fear in you how yeah, eyes I'm there. I'm, like, I'm very surprised I'm here talking to you right now because <laughs> we were going at the speed of light. Ei se Piiterin perässä ole pysynyt kovin moni, mutta nyt meni suht ok. Vieläkin olisi saanut lisää pitoa, mutta varmasti olisi sekin saanut. Vähän oli pakko laskea sitä vastaan, kun, kun tiesi kuinka nopea se on. Että ei ole muuten ollut mitään säässä, mutta ei mitään hirveätä riskiä viittyn ottaa, kun olisi voinut kämmätä sitten liikkua. Ihan tyytyväinen on. Oli niin paljon vauhtia, että se mennäisi mennä pitkäksi koko ajan siitä kolmannesta, siinä, just siinä katsomoneessa. Kyllä aika liike kävi, kävi niillä vedoilla, mutta ei se mitään. Hyvälle, hyvälle hävittiin ja aika hyvillä vedoilla, niin on siitä tyytyväinen. Vieläkö huomenna oli kisa? Oliko maanantaina kolmas kisa? Nyt oli tatsi päällä, niin eikö voisi olla listakisa? Tähän kun oltaisiin päästy eilen, niin olisi parempi meini. Ihan hyvä. Top 8 se kuitenkin. Hyvä. Ei mitään. Seuraavaksi. Pakkaillaan ja huomenna vasta lähdetään nitkuttaa takaisinpäin kotiin. Ja en tiedä mitä sitten seuraavaksi tapahtuu. Varmaan vähän huolletaan vehkeitä ja pussia. Ja Georgia on sitten vasta viiden viikon päästä. Viisi viikkoa on kisaa, mutta neljä viikon päästä melkein lähtee jo reissuun. Välissä oli Sepua, SM ja sitten venetsialaiset, mutta siinä menee vähän turhan tiukalle ehkä sen Georgian kanssa. Jos jotain sattuu, niin sitten ei pääse. Katsotaan, menisikö Epua leikkimään. Se voi olla jo hauskaa. Mutta joo, kiitos kaikille. Me oli hyvä tiimi täällä, oli aika paljon porukkaa ja oli kiva olla, kun oli niin paljon muitakin suomalaisia nyt täällä niin kuin ajamassa. Et yleisössä nyt ei valitettavasti ihan hirveästi ollut koronajuttujen takia. Mut kiitos, kun seurasitte. Kiitos kaikille meidän konsoreille, Inniktorille ja kaikille muillekin. Kiitos, kun jaksatte seuraa ja tsemppaa. Ja tosiaan Georgias nähdään. Hei.